you got a satellite dish installed in your premises now you got only one decoder you got one receiver it could be dstv decoder it could be another type of satellite receiver and this satellite receiver i mean the decoder bought rf out you want to take the signal the rf signal from your receiver to a long distance to a far distance follow me till the end of this video i'll share with you and then i'll show you how to transport your signal from the decoder to a far distance thank you for watching you are here in the channel of technician channel of entrepreneur channel of business people today i'm going to talk to you how to use your cyber amplifier to correct your signal on your television stay tuned till the end let's share my name is Alphonse. we got a decoder like this one who got a lot of output at the back and we got another one who have just less output at the back but i want you and i to focus on what we call radio frequencies rf my decoder doesn't have a rf or my decoder got a rf like this decoder we can see here the decoder this decoder got rf in and got rf out so now we're going to focus on rf out radio frequencies when your decoder is installed let's say in your sitting room you can take the signal here and put it immediately to another television and then it works but this signal if you want to take it to a far distances you may not see the picture and the quality of the image could be very bad there's a solution for that if you want to take this signal to a far distance like more than 100 meters with this type of decoder we don't have a rf out so on this decoder what we need we need to use a modulator i've already shown you on my other video how to use a modulator to a decoder who doesn't have a rf out so the procedure is to take the signal on av you take this signal on av and then you send it to a modulator and from your modulator you got a signal on rf so today we show you how to transport that rf signal to a far distance this decoder got the rf out got the rf in and rf out to take this rf out we need to use a set back amplifier we need to use a device called a amplifier after your decoder is connected we're going to put on the rf out our cable so on rf out we're going to take this signal is this a signal we want to send it to a far distance now when we take this signal we're going to take this signal and we're going to put it on the setback amplifier this is a setback amplifier let me show you how the setback amplifier look like inside the setback amplifier got the power plug you plug it on the electricity if i open this one if i open this setback amplifier the indoor amplifier and then it's written there input far distance far tv and yet the tv you got a decoder you got any satellite decoder it can be a dstv it can be ovhd it can be anything you name as long as you got a decoder a, a satellite receiver who, who got at the back rf out you can use it so you're going to take that rf out in your side back amplifier you got the fed far distance near distance and then you got the input so the input of your side back amplifier you can see the input of the fiber amplifier is actually uh, separate from the output so this is the input this is the input and this is the output so the signal from the rf from your decoder or from your modulator going to go straight here on the input and then you're going to take from this one if you choose for to go for far distance you use this one and then if you want to use the near distance you use this one there's many type of side back amplifier in the market so you can choose the one you want to use there's many many types so just just remember in mind that if i want to take the rf signal to more than 
100 meter, I need to use the sideback amplifier. That's what the video is it about. To know if I want to take my RF signal to a far distance TV, I'm going to use the sideback amplifier. If I don't use the fiber amplifier, I'm going to have a poor signal. We take the signal of uh, decoder, we put it here, we take it out here, and we go for the far distance and the near distance. Far distance is something like 100 or more than 100 meters, and near distance is something less than 50 meters, okay? So it's very important to know that in the circumstance when you want to use two tv or more than two tv in the far distance you have to use a cyber amplifier i'm going to show you another type of amplifier if i want to take a signal from my house to 200 meter rf signal i can also use this one and then i can share it to more than three television you can use the multiple switch to share on the way your signal who's coming from the amplifier okay so this is more or less like commercial amplifier the first one i show you is a domestic amplifier so on this amplifier we're going to take out from rf out and then we will go to a in we're going to take it out from rf out we go to in we go to in and remember when you plug this uh, side back amplifier you're going to see a small red light showing you the power on. And then after you take the amp, you take the RF out from your decoder to input. You can see input here. And then now you can take it for a far distance. So it's very simple. Nothing. You just have to get your cable from the decoder. The cable from the decoder. Go to the sideback amplifier. And from the from the output of your sideback amplifier, you go to your TV in the long distance. So this end will be connected to the tuner at the back of your TV, where you usually put your area. And then after you put this thing, what you need to do, you just go to your TV, you do the automatic tuning, and you'll catch the picture of your decoder. And that time, the picture of your decoder will be very clear. So when the cable is short, you have a good quality of signal. But if your cable is very long, the resistivity of the cable will drop your signal. To recover back that signal, you need a sideback amplifier. If you are looking a way of making your signal in your second television and your third television more clear, it's RF signal. If you want to make it more clear, buy yourself a sideback amplifier. In the market, you will find a lot of type of sideback amplifier. If you're in South Africa, I can advise you to buy this type of amplifier. If you need more about this amplifier sideback, give me a comment below or write to me. I will direct you how to get yourself a sideback amplifier. This one will help you only if you are using the RF signal. Like I say, at the back of your decoder, if you got a port written RF output, that's where you take that signal, you put here in input, and you take it out to your far television. If you want to have a good quality of picture, remember to use a cyber amplifier. If you have already connect your RF output to a second television, and then you are having a poor signal, remember to go and buy a cyber amplifier. And you can use it to correct this poor quality of picture. I hope this video was great for you. If you want to belong to this community of sharing, please do subscribe. Subscribe to this channel so that we can share the knowledge and grow together. We will grow together.